thank you, Kevin. Congratulations to everyone who has recognized it today. I certainly thank you all for the service to uh, the capstone. And to our faculty, staff, and student leaders, thank you all for what you do for serving our campus every day. And uh, some days are long. I realize that. But good afternoon to everyone. Uh, you know, whether you're joining us as a new faculty or staff member on our campus, or you've had a great relationship with the University of Alabama for a long time, I'm certainly glad that you all are here. As president, I am asked to speak often and to very many different type of audiences throughout the year. And sometimes those are at it, recruiting great students, um, certainly to our campus, which is our aim. It may also be talking with alumni, maybe talking to prospective donors who love, uh, who love this institution so much. Um, and in the last few weeks, uh, just to give you a, a flavor of that, I have spoken to many, many different high school student groups, to counselors, to parents in Nashville, Memphis, Huntsville, Mobile, Dothan, Gadsden, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Montgomery, Florence, and then last week I was in Fairfield, Connecticut. And then with supporters, alumni, and civic organizations in Orlando, we had something going on there. <laughs> Selma, Memphis, Mobile, Montgomery, Birmingham, and many other places. But I do want you to know that there is no place that I feel more comfortable and I feel more welcome than right here with our campus community because it is us that all pull in the same direction. So thank you for being here today. You know, from time to time, people will ask me about how is it that the University of Alabama is accomplishing so much. We have so many achievements. They see the impact that UA is, being, is having on young people and on the community, the accolades that our faculty and staff, all the accomplishments, and I tell them that the reason is simple. First, we reflect on our rich history that we have at the university as the state's first public college. From the past, we can see the path that's carved out to the current status as the state's flagship university and as a national leader. And of course, we look ahead and we can visualize the future already. UA is enhancing the quality of life for the communities around us and across the nation. Our sphere of influence is broadened to include all people. So what is the reason for our success? Well, the reason is in this room, and that is our people. It is us, it's on the campus, it's our faculty, it's our staff, it's our students who give this university its life and who are living out the mission of the University of Alabama every day. From the food service worker at Lakeside Dining that I got to visit with as we opened up that new facility, that person is providing nutritious meal for our students and some really great meals too, I might add. To the 91 University of Alabama police officers who serve around our campus each day. It's you, it's I, and it's our people. We're the key to the success, and I'm certainly proud to partner with you, each of you, in that role. It's really hard for me to believe that uh, this past July marked the beginning of my fourth year of Susan and I returning to the university as president, and I certainly remain so faithful to the university, but also just so privileged uh, to be working along your side. It's a great job. It's the best job. The old adage is correct is that time certainly does fly when you're having fun, but I think each one of us know that being at the University of Alabama, it's more than having fun, right? It's a mission. It's hard work. It's serving those around us every day. We do have fun too, though. And embodying the university's core values, it requires a deep commitment from all of us. It takes dedication, it takes perseverance, it takes a heart for helping people that are around us, for pushing new discoveries through our research, through our scholarship, through our creative activities. Again, I couldn't imagine a better job or a better place to carry that out. In fact, the university and the surrounding community have always been warm, a welcoming place for Susan and I. We've always felt at home here, and I want to thank each one of you for making that possible. Thank you. Also, as president, I love talking with prospective students. As I was driving over here, I was texting someone, hey, I just got a note from a student. They want to have a VIP tour. Let's get it set up so that I can visit with them. I need to save them from making any other decision that wouldn't be good for them. <laughs> but when I go to all the different locations of these uh, student admission receptions, I'm always aware 
of the pressure that the students are feeling as they're sitting in those chairs, they're trying to make the decision. It's an important, it's a big decision for them. It's a big decision for their families. And of course, we all know that higher education is, is very competitive now. And we do work very hard at the University of Alabama to bring in great young people. Great young people who want to impact their world or impact a corner of the world in a way that allows them to bring their talents to bear. So at those admission receptions, students will also sometimes share with me their uncertainty of what they want to major in, of how to get involved. I remind them that there may be some parents in that room who aren't quite sure what they're going to do either. But all of the students want to find a place where they feel like they belong. They want to know that they're making the correct decision when they're applying to the University of Alabama and certainly when they're making that decision. So I emphasize to them, and what makes you such an important part of what we do at the University of Alabama is that at the University of Alabama, our faculty, our staff, and other students work alongside new students to help them find their home here. I tell them that they are committed, that you are committed to their success. And I know that's true because I see it every day. In the evenings when I walk, I see lights on all across campus. When I go in early in the mornings, I see lights on on campus. I see you interacting with our students. Our low student to faculty ratio, I can assure students that at the capstone, they'll receive individualized attention. While they pursue superior education, I also tell them that they'll be able to find a warm, welcoming home. I also reinforce to them that at UA, students will be able to have personal interactions with their faculty. I tell them about you, the dedicated faculty who are experts in the field, but will also be mentors for them during their four years or if they're in their graduate work. It may be two, three, or four years in that work. And I share with them on our campus, students will have the opportunity to try on new things. Maybe that's through joining one of our 600 campus organizations. I do tell them not to join all 600. <laughs> but they have the freedom to investigate study abroad programs, to be involved with internships, to connect with what's important to them. You and I know that at UA, students are developing into the leaders that we want them to be so that they will have a global mind, a global perspective when they leave here. So I want to personally thank you all. Job well done. Because of you, the University of Alabama is thriving today and will be thriving tomorrow. Our campus reflects a diverse population. We have representation from each and every county in Alabama, from all 50 states, the District of Columbia, and 78 countries. We take pride in being a university that is inclusive and is supportive of backgrounds and experiences. And I think our students know that we have a creative, nurturing campus that is here to serve them. The season of fall will soon be arriving, at least from a temperature standpoint. We're keeping our fingers crossed for that. Uh, during the fall semester, I especially enjoy walking around our gorgeous campus, and I know you join me in, in thanking our grounds folks who make our campus one of the most beautiful in the South. You can clap, that's good. And when I walk across the, the quad, um, or when I'm in the Ferg Center grabbing something to eat, I will chat with our students. They will tell me about their class schedule. They'll tell me about the labs that they're involved in. They'll tell me about the essay that's due next week, and sometimes they'll share with me they forgot to start on it. <laughs> they'll tell me about the upcoming football game. And they'll also tell me, though, about staff. They'll also tell me about faculty. They'll share how they're being challenged in their courses. They'll discuss a way that they're being shaped, how they're being prepared for the future. They'll be, talk about having pride in the opportunities to help other people. And several of those students are already beginning to have that influence while they're still on our campus or even when they're having their freshman year. Two weeks ago, I had an invitation to Children's Hospital in Birmingham. I wasn't for sure why they invited me to come over, but it was myself and a group of students. And it seems that seven years ago, we had a group of about 15 students who wanted to make an impact. And so these 15 students got together and they formed a group called 
Dance Marathon. And so it's the UA Dance Marathon team. Fast forward seven years uh, to last uh, two weeks ago, Children's Hospital was recognizing our students for raising over $1 million over the last seven years to support those young children who otherwise wouldn't be able to go to that hospital. And you know, it's a great mission that Children's has. But what was impressive to me is it took University of Alabama students a way to figure out how they can have an impact, and they made it happen. Last year, they were the third largest supporter of Children's Hospital through Chil Children's Miracle Network, behind two corporate sponsors. They named a pillar, and so our students have now their name written across the pillar. Children's Hospital makes us all proud to see that. And UA students volunteered last year with over a million hours of student service, year in and year out. This year, we have a new freshman, Sarah Lang, who's a business major. Uh, she's from Tuscaloosa again. She was recently awarded the Congressional Award Bronze Medal for providing service, 200 hours of volunteer service while she was in high school. So you can imagine she was excited to go to get on board day. I hope she didn't join 600. But I know that she was able to get plugged in. She was able to find ways that she can continue to serve while she's here at the University of Alabama. It's something that draws our students to the universities. These students are the students that you teach, that you influence every day on our campus. They amaze us with their ideas. They amaze us with how passionate they are in playing a role in the university community. And make no mistake about it, they are watching you, they're watching me every day to see how we can be leaders for them so they can emulate that. You know, every year I'm astounded by the talent that the new semester brings uh, to our campus through those young people. It's impressive data that um, I share this time of year with, with you all, and I will, I will do that uh, again today. Um, this fall, we enrolled 187 new National Merit Scholars, up from 134 last year to now over 600 on our campus. We have one of the largest National Merit populations in the United States. On our campus, the average high school GPA for incoming freshman class was 3.71, with over a third of those incoming students having a 4.0 or higher. And almost 40% of our incoming freshmen this year had a 30 or higher on the ACT, which places them in the top 5% of all young people in the United States who finished high school last year. Over the last 12 years, we have been ranked in the top three in terms of producing Goldwater Scholars along with Stanford and Harvard. Our university has also produced 15 Rhodes Scholars, 16 Truman Scholars, 33 Holling Scholars, 13 Boren Scholars, all very competitive programs. And this year, 15 of our UA graduates and current students received Fulbright Awards to Teach, Study, and Conduct Research Award, again, among the most in the nation among public universities. I took time to read this long list because I realize that sometimes it can, it can feel like uh, we lose our focus, we're part of a large campus. You know, do I really have an impact on that? We recognize that we all have a little different impact, a little different area of specialty, but I want to assure each one of you, it is you that makes this university what it is, that impacts these students from when they show up to while they're here, even as they graduate, I just spent about half an hour over at our career fair. We have over 200 companies today and 200 companies tomorrow on campus interviewing our young people. So we follow them certainly while they're here, but also as they leave. So those distinctions I shared just a minute ago are a result of you, of what our young men and what our young women can do on this campus. I read the same list when I was at President's Cabinet meeting uh, recently uh, because I wanted our biggest supporters to know what you all are doing, what impact that you have. You are the constant component for success at the University of Alabama. So it's also no surprise that our campus continues to be strong. We have a solid plan to further enhance our campus. One focus I'll share with you today is our focus on continuing to reach in-state students for our campus. We remain firmly committed to educating, to graduating students from around the world 
but especially from Alabama because it's a state flagship university that's a vital part of our mission. To underscore that commitment to students who reside from Alabama, UA is offering more competitive scholarships for in-state students this year. Spread the news. And unlike all other in-state public universities, University of Alabama did not raise in-state tuition for students this fall. We continue to enroll all qualified students from the University of, from Alabama to the University of Alabama. We want these students certainly on our campus. We're also increasing focus on transfer students and graduate students, and those numbers grew again this year at the university. So then we must continue to invest to support future growth. You don't have to look very far from your building to see new investments that we're making, whether it's in buildings or whether it's in roads. All of those are purposeful projects that we're completing that help serve our research, help serve our student body, help serve us to make us more productive. I'm sure you heard of the announcement a week before last of a $26.5 million gift from Hugh F. Culver House Jr. and his wife Eliza. This is the largest gift in the history of the University of Alabama. Hugh was quoted as saying, I have an obligation on myself to make sure that this money produces something and that he wants to see the university among the best of all law schools. Because the faculty members in the Hugh F. Culver House Jr. School of Law recognize the importance of shaping the next generation of leaders, we know that that goal will certainly be realized. And then last week, one of our own graduates, Marilyn Houston, whose impressive career as chairman, president, CEO of Lockheed Martin Corporation, and designation of the 2018 CEO of the year with two degrees from the University of Alabama. And then last week, she was named number one on Fortune Magazine's list of the most powerful women for 2018. And then just a few days ago, we announced plans for construction of our newest Culver House College of Business building, Houston Hall. It will broaden the impact that Culver House has on the College of Business. But because of Marilyn and Jane Houston's philanthropy, our business students will continue to reap the benefits and make even more contributions in their future professions. And these are just two examples of individuals who embody the heart of the university and truly anyone in this room understands the value of a degree from the University of Alabama. And of course, we're grateful that some have the means to give back, to say thank you for what they learned on our campus. Their lasting legacies will impact future generations of students. But I also want to repeat what I said earlier, our success is due to you. What you do every day matters. Donors like Hugh and Marilyn and James give to the University of Alabama because they believe in it. They believe in our mission. They believe in us. They believe in you. It's very personal with these donors. They believe in what you're doing. And to keep the bar raised to our standard of excellence, the university will continue to add faculty and staff to the ranks who will engage with, who will challenge, who will prepare our students for future success. As a university, we also continue to focus on the four pillars of our strategic plan. Those pillars include providing a premier educational experience, increasing their productivity and innovation research scholarship and creative activities, providing and accepting inclusive environment, recruiting and retaining the best faculty. Don't those pillars seem strikingly similar to the things that I've just been talking about? Those are the things that we're doing at the University of Alabama. Clearly, the strategic plan not only embraces our dreams for the campus, but also aligns with what we're currently doing and where we're being successful. We are on the correct path, and we will continue to be successful. We will tune our plans. We will make adjustments where we need to, and we'll share that impact and those outcomes with you. But let me close again by thanking you for what you do for our students in your fields of expertise and by challenging you to remember that while we have had great accomplishments, there's also still much to do. 
but we all work as one team and we have got a national championship team right here in this room. As I look around, I'm reminded of, of our campaign where legends are made. It is about the past, it's about the present, but it's also about the future. And each one of you here plays an important role in that. Because in a way, I guess I would say you are also the legend makers. You're the designers. You're the impressive individuals who make that final product, who walk across our stage three times a year at graduation. And that's a legacy that goes on as these students go out, find jobs, have careers, impact the world, change areas that we don't even dream of today. These young people are being made legends by each of you here. Thank you all for what you do every day. Thank you what you do every week. Again, I know days are sometimes long. We celebrate in between those great successes through hard work. Thank you all and roll tide.